Hi, this is Tom with Daily Qigong here at Stony Gate Wellness with Justin Phillips. What do you got hey for us today? All right, Tom, so today we're going to talk about some foundational stuff. We're going to get down to the basics of Qigong. Regardless of what type of Qigong you practice, it's all about bringing the body, the mind, and the breath into harmony. And there's what's called the three regulations. Now, these come up in a lot of different styles of Qigong. And today, we're going to start talking to you about them. We're going to focus mostly on regulating the body, which in some ways is both the simplest and most complicated part of the process. Simplest because it's what you have the most effect, control, and practice dealing with, but also the most uh, complex because there's just a lot of things to think about. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the feet, go to the head, and then we're going to do everything else in the middle. Now, when we start with our feet, what we want to do is we want to change how we stand. Typically, when people stand, they tend to rock back on their heels a little bit. People tend to stand back on that big ball of heel there in the back. And that happens for a number of reasons. One, it takes some of the pressure off the muscles of the legs. It makes it a little bit easier to stand, prevents fatigue. But also, a lot of our shoes have a rise to the heel. And what that does is because of that wedge, when I step down, the first part of my foot, even if my foot is completely flat that's going to hit the ground, is my heel. So I get used to that contact and that pressure on the heel of my foot. I just get used to standing that way, but that's not a great way to stand because what happens is I'm directly on bone, and then I've just got bone-to-bone -bone pressure all the way up the body. That's going to put a lot of pressure into my knees, a lot of pressure into my lower back, all the way up into pressure in the back of my neck. This can cause a lot of problems, knee pain, low back pain, headaches. So what we're going to do is I want to take my weight and I want to bring it forward onto my foot a little bit. Okay? Now, I'm not trying to go all the way forward onto my toes with the ball of my foot, but I want to bring it forward just a little bit. If you imagine that this is my foot and this is the ball of my foot, I want to be on a point that's called Yong Chuan, or the bubbling well, that sits in a hollow just behind the ball of my foot. Now to get there, a nice way to find this is I'm going to rock my weight forward all the way to the balls of my feet, all the way back to my heels, all the way forward to the balls of my feet, and I'm going to try to kind of find that spot in the middle where I really feel like the weight evens out between the balls of my feet and my heels and settles there in the middle. Now I also want to make sure I'm not too far side to side so I can rock side to side a little bit and make sure that I'm not, on my, I'm not uh, pronating in. I'm not rolling out with the foot, but that I'm just nice and grounded and even on the foot. That both sides of the foot, the heel and the ball of the foot, all have even balance. Now, there's a lot of other factors we could get hit into in the feet. Maybe in some later videos where we talk about iron shirt, we'll talk about that. But for now, front, back, left to right, make sure that's nice and centered. What you're doing there is there's three arches in the foot, medial, lateral, and transverse arches. When we get in the middle of those, they work like the shock absorbers in your car. They help take some of that weight and that pressure off the body. It's going to take that pressure out of the bony structure. It's going to save you a lot of wear and tear on the knees, the back, the neck, the shoulders, everything. Okay, So it's a much better way to stand. Just a good thing to practice even when you're not doing Qigong, just throughout the day. Um, I also often encourage people to move away from shoes with heels to a little bit of a flatter shoe to also help take that weight off the heels. Now, back to the regulation. I've done the feet, now I'm going to come up to the top of the head. What I want to do is I'm going to come to a point right here on the top of my head. Easy way to find the point we're looking for is if you come to the, the points of your ears, draw a line so it meets on your head. If you slide back about a quarter to a half inch, you're going to find kind of a little bit of a depression in your head. That's the point you're looking for. It's called Bai Hui in Chinese medicine. What I want to do is I want to imagine that there's a thread from that point rising up into heaven and that I'm suspended from there. I don't want to imagine my head sitting on my body, but that I'm hanging by my head from above. Now, a good way to bring this in is a lot of us sit, you know, from driving, typing, we have this forward head can. So what I want to do to really activate this by way and help open up the base of my neck is I'm going to tuck my chin just a little bit. I don't want to tuck my chin way in, but I'm going to come from here, you know, from my usual posture, I'm going to bring my chin just a little bit back and just a tiny bit down. And what you're looking for is right here at the base of your skull, you'll feel just a very gentle opening and you'll really feel that suspended. Okay? So we've done the top of the head, we've done the chin, we've done the neck, we've done the feet. Now I'm going to worry about everything in between. What I want to do is I want to imagine now that I've suspended my head, that my spine hangs down from that. In the Chinese poems, they talk about the spine heavy like a strand of pearls, okay? So I want to imagine like that heavy strand of pearls that's going to hang very straight and very open. Pearls don't bunch up, they don't wiggle all over, they hang nice and straight. So as I'm suspended from my head, just a little bit tucked, I want to imagine that I'm very tall, my spine is very long and open, and it's hanging down nice and gently. Now as I move down the spine, what that, that hanging in the spine is going to do is it's going to cause me to soften my tailbone a little bit. Now most of us when we stand, we have a little bit of this lumbar curve right here. And that's okay, that's natural when we stand, but for the purpose we're doing here, to make sure we've got a good connection to the ground, that we're well rooted, that the energy flows naturally down through the body instead of kicking back with this lumbar curve flows into the legs, I'm going to soften my tailbone a little bit. Now, I don't want to tuck my tailbone. I want to, like, really camp forward. But I want to just soften that. I'm going to bend my knees just a little bit to make that happen. I'm going to relax so that that lumbar curve flattens out a little bit. That way, I've got a straight line from the top of my head, down my back, through my lumbar spine, down through the pelvis, into the legs. And all forms one nice, continuous flow. And what that's going to do is that's going to create a line of energy from that by way that we talked about 
all the way down through the body into that yang chuan on the bottom of the foot. And that's really going to open me up energetically for the rest of my practices. It's also going to allow me to really relax the musculature and let the bones, the ligaments, and the tendons really take a lot of that weight so I can do my qigong practices much more relaxed. Okay? That's regulating the body. That's the first step. So practice that. We'll see you next time. Next time we're going to talk about the breath and the mind. Uh, thanks, Tom, for having us out again. Don't forget, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.